This is Afrokid Documentary, and we strive to save an African child. In our previous journey, we looked into the life of a young boy residing in a humble village located at the Slopy Highlands of Morogoro region, Dame Jumanne. Dame's day-to-day -day struggle involved so many key factors that surrounds majority of the African children whose education and welfare is greatly affected by the spiteful clause of poverty. We had the privilege to listen to the concerns and appeals from his parents and his teachers as well and discover the conflicting perspective together with the union of interest for the sake of Dame's progress in school. But that was not the end. It took us a while, but out of the previous documentary we filmed and exhibiting to the public in different social media outlets, we acquired well-wishers who donated items beneficial not only to Dame, but his fellow students who still could not read and write. Afrokid, together with YVG, donated and collected the required items as we headed to Ruvuma village, where Dame calls home. The ride was long and slopey, but we all enjoyed the green scenery of the highlands. Finally, we arrived at Towero Primary School, where we met Dame, his brother Omari, and the rest of his colleagues, under the supervision of his teacher, Mr. Oswald, who were all eagerly awaiting for our arrival. Oops. Mm. Mr. Oswald briefly introduced us to the children and puzzling the puzzling question of who we are and the purpose of our visitation. Kama nilivyoambia kwamba kutakuwa na wageni lakini wageni hawa sio sio wageni kwetu. Walikuja mara ya kwanza niliwatambulisha kwenu na walisema nini wanafanya? Wale darasa la 4 mtakumbuka tulienda mpaka madarasani kule. Wamekuja kutuona tena. Basi tutasikiliza chochote walichokuwa nacho kama ni neno kama ni usia kama ni chochote walichokuwa nacho on behalf of my team i officially introduced ourselves and explained the reason why we had gathered together basi mimi naitwa Angel Mary na kuna muda kuna kipindi fulani sijui kama mnakumbuka ngapi wananikumbuka okay sisi ni afro kid tunaitwa afro kid yani tutaki kuona watoto you know vile vinateseka watu wengi wali walikaa pamoja na kutoa tuseme zawadi fulani kwa ajili yenu tu binafsi kwa sababu tukitengeneza kama ka video fulani sio kama mnaelewa video video ile tv so tukitengeneza film fupi tu ya maisha ya dami na watu wengi wakaiona wa Tanzania wakaiona na wengi wakaguswa na wakaamua kutoa mchango fulani ili hata na nyinyi mpate kupata kitu you know sio kitu kikubwa lakini chochote ambacho tunacho tunaoa tu acha tuwasaidie nacho. So tunaomba mtaipokea kwa furaha, moyo wa furaha. Na tunawapenda sana. Naitwa Angel, naitwa nani? Angel. Asante. <laughs> well, this is nice. Okay, ah uh, yeah, so na hiyo tu. Lakini nawapenda na natamani tena kuja tena na asanteni. Oh, I'm getting a clap. Eric Justice, the YVG team leader, also had his part to play in introducing himself and the team. Mimi kwa jina naitwa Eric Justice, naweza mkaniita kaka Eric. Sisi tuna kikundi kinaitwa Youth Volunteering Group, ni kikundi ambacho kipo kwa ajili ya kujitolea kusaidia jamii. Tumeungana na wenzetu wa Afro Kids na wao ambao pia wanania kama yetu sisi nzuri ya kusaidia watoto tumekuja na zawadi kidogo ili iweze kuwasaidia nyie watoto wazuri katika masomo yenu mweze kuja kufanikiwa katika maisha ya baadaye 
So the long-awaited moment finally arrived. We presented the donations, handing them over to the class monitor and Mr. Oswald himself. Tumeleta choki kama vitendea kazi kwa limuetu na pia tumenua choki za rangi ili pale walimu wanapo wafundisha wakichora kitumia rangi tafauti mtaeza kuelewa vizuri zaidi. Tumanunulia madaftari ya kujifunzia muandiko, madaftari ya isabati na madaftari ya kawaida ya kuandikia pamoja na kujifunza kuchora. We received a word of gratitude from one representative of the students together with Mr. Oswald. Na kushukuru ni sana kwa kutuleta ya chaki, penseli na madaftari. Mungu wabaliki kwa mna poenda muende salama, mludi salama mipotoka. Kwa niaba ya uongozi wa shuri ya msingi toero, Tunashukuru sana kwa zawadi mlo tupatia. Na zisi tunaidi zile ambazo za wanafunzi basi tutagaya wanafunzi kama inevutakiwa. Na zile ambazo za ofisini basi tuazifanyia kazi ofisini. Naidi kupitia hii zawadi basi tunakuwa tunajua kabisa tutaongeza ufanisi wa kazi zetu. Na mtakuwa mengi metulaishia. So kwa mba mnazo bali ni mwewenu kutokana na hali alisi ya ilimu yetu na asa hapa shule yetu ya toero. Tunashukuru sana. We had to bid farewell and continue with the quest. Bringing along Dame and his brother Omari with us. We had a little trouble with the pickup along the way as we tried driving through extreme steep slopes overweighing by the huge number of passengers and heavy luggages in it. <laughs> We survived the first ordeal. Let's go. The vehicle could not take it anymore and it broke down. leaving us no choice but to finish the rest of the journey on foot. Carrying with us the heavy bags, boxes, mattresses, and bed. It was definitely not an easy task, and after some few miles, we finally reached our destination, Dami's home. While we were still resting after the tough climb, Dami gave us his examination results, and we analyzed together, as he promised to work harder next time and be among the top students in his class. <laughs> kwa ukilinganisha na matokeo yaliyopita ame 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 amepanda juu okay hapo sawa piga hapo baba asante at long last we eventually handed over all the items and donations to dame and his family kuna begi ya shule a ulipata ngapi kwenye mchezo 60 60 yeah very good hebu tendele na mpira na kuna viatu vya shule kutosha kuna kuna uniform kuna shati nyeupe eh? ukienda kucheza zingatia shati nyeupe mama asipate shida kufua kuna mwavuli naona mvua muda wa mvua ukienda shuleni na mwavuli wako mzuri kuna mafuta kuna sabuni na towel zingine hii ni atlas kusabu Kuna mbele tuliona mwalimu anajaribu kuwafundisha kitu fulani akashindwa kuonyesha kwa sababu hakuwa na map. Kwa hivyo kini Tamani. Yeah. Tamani. Good boy.
kuna mtu fulani kasema cha mbariki dame na mkubwa wake Omari na kitanda sio sisi tu watu tofauti waliwaona wale watazama walitazama video na wakaguswa na wakatamani sana kuangalau kupanda kitu katika maisha yenu wakamo basi wacha tusaidie haya jamani asante ni and that's how the day ended despite the sloppy challenges scorching sun and sweaty venture we eventually managed to accomplish our mission that drove us all the way from the city to the remote nature filled village of Ruvuma and so we marched forth with victory up the highlands toward morning sight heading to camp for the night documentary 